the crown. Welcome to I Am Heavy Cash Podcast. You already know it's your boy Don Heavy, representing for the NY and the Shizza, the Windy City. You already know it's cold everywhere today. Uh, March 29th, 2016. It is cold everywhere. It's brick everywhere. It doesn't matter if you're in New York, Cali, Chi Town. It's brick everywhere. I don't know what's going on, but you know what? In this cold, cold world, this cold, cold day today, March 29th, it's a cold, cold world. It's cold, cold, I can't even say it. It's a cold, cold world out here. And I'm specifically talking about the world of relationships. You know what I'm saying? This is what I Am Heavy Cash is going to be on today. The world of relationships. Don Heavy is about to talk about relationships. And you just, just, just hear me out. I know we talk about Heavy Cash, but you know Don Heavy likes to bring everything full circle. You already know that. Don Heavy likes to bring everything around full circle. So check it out. Now, the world of relationships is extremely vibrant on the internet. What does that mean? That means a lot of people are paying attention to relationships on the internet, whether it be celebrities, whether it be their friends, families, whatever. And a lot of people are putting their own personal relationships on the internet and broadcasting what they want people to see. So people appear like they are in happy relationships on the internet because quite frankly, nobody posts them arguing or things of that nature that aren't supposed to happen in relationships well arguments happen but you know the bad arguments where there's no love there (laughs) and things are said like yeah like y'all worst enemies type of stuff on the on the the internet so things are happening and yesterday yesterday while i'm on social media looking uh, i think i was on twitter i'm looking i'm looking over twitter you know what i'm saying seeing what the landscape is looking like checking out checking out what cnbc and new york times is saying and bloomberg markets and i i go past this girl named Kalani, never heard of her, never heard of her before today, before yesterday, no, I'm, I'm lying, I heard about her one time before yesterday, and I saw her, and apparently, Kalani is the girlfriend of Kyrie Irving, the point guard for the Cleveland Cavaliers, she was cheating on Kyrie with this guy that signed with OVO called Party Next Door, Party Next Door is her ex-boyfriend, just to give you a background about what's happening, Party Next Door is her ex-boyfriend, and, this, and he said something about shenanigans, and he posted a picture of her hand that had a woke tattoo and everybody knows that woke tattoo as Kalani who is currently well I don't know about Kalani anymore today but at that time was currently Kyrie Irving's girlfriend the internet is going crazy they're saying if you're taking L's you're getting Meek Mill and if you get cheated on you get Kyrie all right not everybody but a lot of people get cheated on it's the, it's the, it's a fact it's a fact of the world that it happens now my advice to the young boy Kyrie cut her off she's then violated the trust she's then violated the honesty unless she told you unless unless she said I'm going to wherever that he was to chill with some friends she didn't lie to you but if she didn't say that she lied to you she violated the trust it could be no more she's done she's dead she's dead to you now, now moving forward, and then yesterday I, I looked her up. I noticed she was a singer. I didn't know she was a singer before. I just thought she was some girl that just dated, you know, ball players. I didn't. I had no clue about her relationship with Party Next Door. None of that. So then today, I go on the internet and I see Corinne Stephens blasting. If you don't know who Corinne Stephens is, she's a, AKA Superhead, she's blasting Columbus Short about cheating on her. Now, if you and, and they're married, by the way, Columbus Short is the guy from uh, Stomp the Yard. You know what I'm saying he's the guy that did the elbow slide on on his on his elbow on the stage or whatever. And if if you if you're Columbus Short and you got the goal to marry Corinne Stephens, now if you have not seen Corinne Stephens perform, you should. I've seen it. I'm not ashamed, and I know a lot of you have seen it. It's no reason to cheat on Corinne Stephens. Like <laughs> she does everything. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm just saying, she does everything, like, and, 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 and like I said, you got married to her, so obviously you was overlooking, completely overlooking her past, completely, like you was looking, you was overlooking it so, so much, I don't even think you was looking straight, bro, you was looking, looking straight up in the sky, you wasn't looking straight in front of you, so Corinne Stephens in Columbus Short is, is getting publicized, she, she violated him on social media because she knows that everybody's paying attention to social media and, and relationships on social media. Right, so that's what most of us are focused on every day. I see memes about it all the time, every day. That's what we're focused on. To to bring it back, the first time I saw Kalani, and this is funny because El Blanco said that I should have saved this because this is when you knew it was going to be a notable situation.
situation. The first time I saw Kalani was a picture of her and Kyrie. And some girl said, I wish I had someone. <laughs> Excuse me for laughing because it's so funny because of how ironic this is now. I wish I had someone that looked at me the way he looks at her. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. But anyway, moving forward, I see a whole bunch of link, uh, memes going around saying if she don't go through your phone, she cheating. If he take his phone everywhere, he cheating. And quite frankly, the dog is a little disappointed in my people. You know? I'm, t- I'm sitting here talking about money to y'all twice a week, every every week, just on the podcast alone. I'm hitting you with money by the minute every day, Monday through Friday. And then you got a black market watch in case you in case you a little a little challenged with how to to do the money so it can grow. If you idolize somebody and they doing it right or doing it wrong, I'm hitting you with the money talks. People have no excuse not to be making the dough. And it, and it's and it's sad because what we should be focused on, we should be focused on the heavy cash. You know what I'm saying? What about if some if your significant other is not focused on anything else but the heavy cash? Is that a look is is that a good look or nah? Or no, somebody that's focused on the cash. I'm, I'm talking about really focused on the cash. I'm, I'm not talking about going to work extra hard to get extra money. Nah, I'm talking about going to work and investing that money so the money could be working just as hard as you. So you can have a transference of wealth for your for your civic, significant other or for your little ones if you got little ones. You know what I mean? People that are focused on the cash don't be out there like that because the money don't stop. There are no off days for the dough. Now, I'm not saying that people fo- that focus on the cash don't be cheating and dipping and diving. No. But they don't be on the social media going hard about everybody else's relationship issues because they focus on the dough. The dough don't sleep. And regardless, regardless of whatever, Kyrie go to practice every day because he got a $90 million, $90 plus million dollar contract with the shoe contract. He going to practice every day. He focused on the dough. That's, that's just what's happening. Like, for instance, everybody focusing on this dough. Well, did you know that oil was a, was $28 a barrel like two months ago? And now it's back up to $40 a barrel? How many of y'all get gas every day and, and didn't invest in, in no oil or gas companies? How many of y'all? How many of y'all, my people, my people, I'm talking to my people right now. So I could be a little irate a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I could raise my voice just a, just a tad, a tad how many of my people be on Facebook every day looking at the nonsense, posting the memes, commenting on the status with the memes, commenting on the relationship statuses? How many of my people be on Facebook every day and never thought about making money with Facebook because it has over 1 billion people on it per day, signing on per day? How many people even know Facebook got 1, mil- 1 billion people signing on per day? Everybody running around trying to get married, but y'all not investing in mining stocks that get these diamonds, that get the gold, that get the silver. No, I mean, even though mining stocks in the, in the U.S. are really taking a, they really get shot in the dark right now. But y'all not even owning, owning companies that every kiss begins with K that that own that that own that jewelry store or own Jared the Galleria of Jewelry. What's up, my people? Come on, let's make this money. Let's stop focusing on all this dumb stuff. Let's make the money so cause, so we could be good. Cause that's what it's about. It's about being good when it's all said and done. Why why can't my people get it right? Why can't we get the dough, man? And, it, and I'm not I'm not knocking anybody for being entertained. Yeah, we all, we, we live in this world. This world, this life is hard for a lot of us. And yeah, you need that entertainment, even, even if it's just a form of stress relief. You need that entertainment. But yo, come on, son. Come on, son. Let's get this bread. Let's get this bread. Let's get it the right way. A lot of y'all talking about relationship goals and this that and the third oh that's a relationship goal that's a relationship goal you know what's down heavy relationship goal my shorty coming home and saying yo baby i saw this company so i looked them up i looked them up and i checked the company i checked the executives and they got some nice earnings and they got a nice dividend baby read this annual report for me and tell me if i should invest it because you do a lot you do a lot baby you always talking about the money you here for the people you doing your own investing so how about this you read the annual report for me you do the heavy lifting but i done saw the company and you probably might not have known and i and I'm showing you interest in this I'm showing you interest Not just regular interest I'm talking about compound interest You know what I'm saying And 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 I want you to do this for me Because I want to start my own investments Because I want to be like you That's a relationship goal to me That's lovely, that's beautiful, that's sexy She about the paper? Get to, Like my man Jeezy said Get to the paper one time for the haters? Really? Come on man Stop playing with me man For real, let's get the money man Know what I mean? And that moving me to facts in my opinion.
first fact in my opinion if you not if you are not investing you are losing point blank period that's just what it is if you are not investing you are losing I'm not calling you a loser, but you are losing because money saved with a regular inflation rate of 2%. It's not, I don't think it's 2% right now, but if 2% inflation rate, you might as well cut the money you have, the value of it in half every seven years. That's not a good look. Second fact, in my opinion, if you know about celeb relationships, but your relationship is trash, you are losing, period. You are losing. If your relationship is trash, but you all up in the mix with celebrity relationship, first of all, you don't know what goes on goes on day in and day out in these relationships. But fact of my opinion, number three, if you use Twitter, IG, Instagram, IG, or Facebook, and you don't know which one of those are a public company and not just a social media platform, you are losing. And that is why you are focused on the wrong thing. Because you should be focused on the money. And, not, and, I, and, 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 and I'm saying that because I know a lot of y'all be focused on going to work. But then y'all be like, yo, I need, I need another job, I need this, I need that. Nah, man, you just need to put that money to work, yo. For real. For real. Focus on your pockets. Focus on your pockets. Stop the nonsense. We all like the entertainment, but let's also like the money. Nobody likes being broke. Never, ever, ever, ever make excuses. Excuses never made a dollar. Just make money, people. With that being said, thank you for tuning in to another I Am Heavy Cash podcast. You already know, it's the one and only Don Heavy, the chosen one. Represent for the NY and the Shy. Check me out on Black Market Watch on YouTube and on Facebook, the Don Heavy Facebook page. Check me out on Black Market Watch. We dropping them. We, we got y'all getting emotionally and mentally invested in this money game. We're going to teach you how to do it. We gonna teach you how to do it, and I ain't no professor. I ain't no professor. I ain't gonna teach you like that. I'm gonna give you something that you wanna hear. I'm gonna give you something that relates to you, so you can digest the information and get it done right. You know what I'm saying we got all all new money talks coming out real soon, and definitely check out Money by the Minute on the Snapchat. Don Heavy, that's D zero N Heavy, and check me out on Instagram Heavy on. And with that being said, I'm going to go and look at some more relationship news because some of this stuff is funny. So I'm going to go look at some more of that stuff. And I'll check y'all on Thursday, y'all. I'm out. This program is brought to you by Herpity Ghost and Better New Business. Thank you for tuning in.